Well, this is the magnificent Paul VI Hall, built about 50 years ago. It's a fantastic piece of architecture for a start. Look at the wonderful lighting on the ceiling, which is fantastic. And we've been here, 368 people from all over the world, with the Pope sitting at the central chair there, gathered for this gathering, which we call the Synod. And if you notice, there's a few small little details I'd like to point out. The fantastic sculpture piece right there at the centre, Christ risen, and it kind of branches as if the whole of creation, the whole of the world is being taken up into this dynamic moment where Jesus is risen from the dead. Then to the right of it there with the icon of Our Lady. Now that dominates the whole proceedings as if to tell us she is present with us as well. But then on the left hand side, of course, we've got the key, which is that we have the Word of God. And the Word of God is, of course, central to all our deliberations. Upstairs, we have the Synod Hall, the, what's called the Old Synod Hall. That's a theatre style. In other words, you've rows. And there in the, in the synods, until now, you've had like front row cardinals, next row archbishops, next row bishops, next row heads of religious orders, etc. Maybe then towards the back lay people if they were coming. So that was a very tiered, ordered, as it were, a gathering. As you rightly notice here, we have tables where people are sitting around together, a cardinal, a lay woman, a lay man, a priest, bishop. And in that sense, there's a signal being given to us that we want things to be more, what we call synodal, community-based, rather than pyramid. And that has probably been one of the emphasis of what's happening in the Catholic Church at the moment. That doesn't deny, of course, we all have our specific jobs to do, our specific roles, but we need to be much more collaborative, participative, working things out together.